We are discussing international human resource management issues of SMEs and in this topic we will be discussing the challenge of learning for SMEs. Uh, you know that learning is very important a feature of organization in today's times and it is particularly a very critical and important process in volatile global environment of the modern business working together with different type of people you need to learn to take that knowledge back to your own organization and then use it for better outcomes. You need to learn uh, how to transfer your knowledge from your parent organization to, uh, uh, to the joint venture. So there are a lot of learning avenues uh, for a cross-border alliance. So for SME, the learning um, a process is also very important and for SMEs this learning has to be very much rapid because it is a small organization and smaller organizations they have less margin they have less cushion for failure so it is very important for them to learn and adapt to the environment more successfully than it is for the multinationals because multinationals they have more cushion for failure and SMEs they need to be correct more importantly importantly than the MNEs. But the challenge of learning is uh, greater in SMEs because although they need to learn and adapt more quickly and more effectively, they don't have those kind of learning mechanisms and structures with which learning can take place. Uh, so organizational learning activities in SMEs, they are carried out in a different way than in the large enterprises. Usually training is short term because they need to be really proactive about uh, learning and then applying it to the uh, to, to the market. So training and, and then uh, these SMEs, they cannot afford long term training processes because of the cost and time involved in that. So training is short term. Uh, and uh, because they don't have the right kind of HR supporting them, uh, the training function is inadequately designed to meet the long-term objectives of the SME. So the learning function, it kind of uh, uh, is at a disadvantage in the SMEs. Uh, then uh, the learning process, it is based on informal learning approach, which is based on socialization and local networks. Uh, so people learn by socialization, meeting with people who are experts, and they use the local networks to give them information and learning about the market, about the processes, about you know the, the, the tricks of the trade. They learn it not by formal structures or formal training. They learn it by being street smart and by learning the tricks uh, through social and local networks. And focus is on acquiring tested knowledge rather than education on explicit knowledge. So in a multinational training programs, they are designed to first of all give explicit knowledge. Explicit knowledge is the knowledge which is transferred in, a, in, in some tangible way. So it is either by a lecture or by role play or by uh, showing um, how you are going to work. So that is explicit knowledge which is given in some form, in some tangible form. Whereas implicit knowledge, which is tacit knowledge, that is something which you acquire by observing, uh, observing people doing something. So uh, the focus in SMEs is to gain the tacit knowledge because tacit knowledge, if you learn something, किसी को काम करता हुआ आप देख रहे हैं और आप उसको देख के सीख लेते हैं तो फिर आपको उसकी थ्योरी पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं रहती ऑल्दो ये कि थ्योरी की बहुत इंपॉर्टेंस है उसके जो टेंजिबल एस्पेक्ट्स है नॉलेज के उसकी इंपॉर्टेंस है बट सम टाइम्स यू कैन बाईपास दैट एंड जस्ट लर्न द टेस्ट नॉलेज एंड अप्लाई इट टू द पर्टिकुलर टास्क सो इन ऑर्डर टू मेक लर्निंग मोर इफेक्टिव एंड एफिशेंट टेस्ट नॉलेज इज मोर फोकस्ड दैन एक्सप्लिसिट नॉलेज इन SMEs. So these are the various different uh, features of learning and the challenges of learning in SMEs, particularly those with an international focus.